What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and this is Top 10 Thursday. Creativity can be difficult. Racking your brain trying to come up with the next big idea takes time and effort. And that's why some people in the art world say, if you can't craft greatness, learn to mimic a masterpiece. No place is this more obvious than in gaming. So this week, we're taking a look at the shameless copycats that cashed in on my list of the Top 10 games that are total ripoffs. Number 10. Fighter's History In the 90s, Street Fighter 2 was the most played arcade title on the planet. Machines would literally have lines of people in front of them waiting for their chance to beat each other bloody. It was a worldwide phenomena that raked in millions of dollars every year, which probably explains why it got such a blatant clone. You might have assumed that you've been seeing footage from Street Fighter 2, but in fact, this is Fighter's history. The character models are altered just a bit, and yet it's hard not to notice all the stolen assets. I mean, seriously, they even copied the look of the health bars. Number 9. Sonic Shuffle if there is one thing everyone loves, it's sitting down and challenging each other to minigames. Titles like Fusion Frenzy, Rayman Raving Rabbids, and of course Mario Party have demonstrated this time and again. This is a subgenre that is surprisingly successful, so after Sega launched the Dreamcast, they were looking for something along these lines to fill out their library. That's when they decided to make their own, not so clever version of the dice filled action of Mario Party. While there are some changes, including a strange RPG combat system, there's no avoiding that this is pretty much copy and paste content. The next time you try stealing an idea, maybe add in a bit more of your own style. Number 8. The Simpsons Road Rage when it comes to originality, licensed games are basically scraping the bottom of the barrel. These projects are typically hired out to small companies willing to make a fast game for a quick buck, but this game is actually even lazier than normal. What you're seeing on the left here is Crazy Taxi, a game where you pick up passengers and run them across town for points. On the right is Simpsons Road Rage. As you can tell, they mimic the physics, the arrow at the top of the screen, and even some of the silly catchphrases. The two projects are so obviously identical that the designers ended up getting taken to court and sued for copyright infringement. Number 7. Angry Birds for just a moment, try and imagine that you and a few of your closest friends have decided to make a game. You have a concept that you think is unique, you're willing to learn programming, and you're dedicated enough to make this a reality. Sadly, after you create your vision, it never really goes anywhere. That is, until someone else rips it off. That's the situation the guys behind Crush the Castle found themselves in. I think it's safe to say that the talentless hack behind Angry Birds just flat out stole this entire game. Right now, it's estimated that Angry Birds has made roughly $3 billion, all because they took somebody else's genius idea. Number 6. Crash Team Racing Speeding around a corner, you're barely in second place. It's the final lap and you can see the person in the lead right ahead of you. Using your power up, you fire hoping to knock him off the track and win a last second victory. Sound familiar? If you grew up mastering Mario Kart, then this entry is probably no real shock. To be honest, there are a lot of kart racers that followed in the footsteps of Nintendo's classic, but this felt like the first one to really reuse the formula beat for beat. Crash Bandicoot grew his fanbase by having great platformers, but this spinoff just seemed like a random cash grab. Clearly, some lame executive in a boardroom said, what's the top selling game right now? Make us a Crash Bandicoot copy of that. Number 5. Legend of Titans one of 2016's most instant breakout hits has been Overwatch. This team-based shooter has been a huge triumph because of its quirky cast, well-built levels, and extremely good combat balancing. Every hero plays totally different, and yet they work together exceptionally. This kind of magic is rare, which is probably why a greedy company couldn't resist attempting to make a version of their own. Welcome to Legend of Titans. If the graphics kind of suck, it's because this was actually made for cell phones in China. 
I guess that's the most baffling part of all to me. Overwatch has some of the best controls of any online game I've played. The mere fact that they tried to mold this into a horrible mobile title is downright awful. Number 4. Saints Row Grand Theft Auto is a franchise that's always been a landmark of each console generation. Every time a new one comes out, all of gaming seems to take a giant leap forward in design. At the end of 2005, the Xbox 360 debuted and people were eagerly awaiting the announcement of a new Rockstar game. What they got instead though was an eerily similar game by a different team. Saints Row was essentially a third party GTA, complete with gang wars, fast cars, and heavy weapons. As at just a glance, you could almost mistake them as being part of the same series. Thankfully, they learned that living in the shadows isn't very fun, and they took Saints Row into much more ridiculous directions. Just as a side note, if you haven't played Saints Row, get out of hell, you really need to. Number 3. Dante's Inferno This is by far my favorite game on the list. I don't even mind that it's such a hardcore ripoff, because at least it's enjoyable. Let's follow the journey of Kratos from God of War and Dante from this game. Kratos loses his wife, swears vengeance, and fights impossible bosses and creatures from ancient mythology to get even with the gods. Dante is also a man who loses his wife, swears vengeance, and battles... Wait a second, these are the exact same game. I mean, look, they have the same art style, the same kind of enemies, and even those quick time events for killing big monsters. I believe this is the reason we never got a sequel to Dante's Inferno. Even though it's sold decently, once God of War came out on the PlayStation 3, they realistically knew that they could never compete with that incredible game. Number 2. The Great Gyna Sisters One of the first direct copies to happen in the world of gaming was back in 1987. Super Mario Bros. was burning up store shelves and developers everywhere were rushing to get their own piece of the platforming action. A tiny company called Time Warp Productions didn't feel like coming up with an original idea of their own, so instead what they did is rebuilt Super Mario Bros. brick by brick. What can I even say about this? We have Goombas, gems that can be collected like coins, and even small fireballs that can be shot just like a fire flower. You know what I love most about this story? They tried to act like they came up with this project completely on their own. When confronted by Nintendo, Time Warp Productions basically said, Who's Mario? We've never heard of him. That takes some major guts. Number 1. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale Super Smash Bros. is a franchise so awesome it almost seems to defy logic. On the surface, it appears so cute and happy when it secretly hides a complex fighting system. Watching all your childhood heroes go full blast in intense combat is absolutely fantastic. A few years ago, Sony decided that they needed a Smash Brothers of their own, so they decided to make PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. 24 different characters from all across gaming join forces in this title. Where All-Stars shines brightest is in the diversity of its cast. You could have a big daddy from Bioshock facing off against Raiden from Metal Gear, only to have both of them get punched in the back by Fat Princess. The exceptionally wide range of fighters is cool, but overall the game doesn't quite work. The biggest issue is that your foes can only be defeated with a super move. Instead of having health bars, players just have an energy meter that needs to be charged up by fighting. When it's full, you can unleash hell. If you're gonna knock off something like Smash Brothers, you gotta do better than this. For its boring battles, poor use of mechanics, and total lack of originality, I am awarding this gaming's biggest ripoff. Did your favorite scam not make the list? Got an idea for a future top 10? Leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. I apologize I sound so different this week. I'm extremely sick. I have almost no voice. I can't do that really high pitch thing I do sometimes. And you know what? To top it all off, I broke my damn office chair while I was editing. Do you, do you see this? Wait, look at that. Look at that. I can't even afford to replace this. What am I going to do? YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.